David Ormander here with my Beginner Reason Lesson 2. So once we have the template set up from Lesson 1, it's time to add some samples to our Redrum. So if you look at the Redrum interface, you'll see each channel has a folder button next to it. Uh, it should say Browse Sample. Reason supports any AIFF or Wave sample, so you can actually import non-Reason sounds. But for now, we're going to stick with Reason Zone samples located in the Reason Factory sound bank. So first, let's click on channel 8 browse sample and find that reason factory sound bank folder and then click on redrum drum kits and then click on exclusive drum sorted and then click on hi-hats so reason usually puts the open and close sounds together so I'm looking for pretty these two sound good so I'm gonna go with the HH1 V1 just looking for some simple sounding open and close hi-hats and now let's click on browse for channel 9 and let's choose that other one HH1 V11 for channel 9 so now we have our closed and open sound in channel 8 and 9 let's go over to channel 1 and we're gonna put our bass drum in there so let's click on the bass drums folder and scroll down and you can preview how each of them sound uh, let's go with a simple vintage sound I think it's called BD3 there it is BD3 underscore vintage click open on that channel 2 let's put our snare sound in there so go back to exclusive drum sorted snare drums and let's match that with the vintage snare um, there it is SD2 underscore vintage and now we are ready to program so um, let's hit the select button on channel 8 and if you notice, let me scroll down here, you'll see that's uh, 16 of these, what called Reason calls these steps. So let's just left click and highlight all of them. And uh, if you just hit run, you should hear 16 of those uh, hi-hat samples within one pass. That's because Redrum, Redrum configures 16 steps for 1 16th resolution by default. And we, we're not gonna get into changing these for this lesson. Um, so let's slow down the tempo a little bit. Let's make it around 100. And it's actually easier to hear that at slower tempo. And now let's tweak our, let's tweak our hi-hat sound. We don't need such a busy sound. So I want us to click on every other one starting with two. And what that does is that takes it, takes the step out. And I also want us to use the dynamic button, uh, turn it, uh, Put, turn it on soft and let's hit every other one starting with three. And if we hit run and sample that to hear it, I think that sounds a lot less mechanic. Um, so why don't we go to our bass drum and turn the dynamic button back to medium and let's choose steps one, seven, and 10. And let's hit select on our snare drum and let's say five in step 13 for our basic two and four sounds. Sounds like this. Um, so that sounds pretty good. I think that's going to be our A1 bank B. So what I want us to do now is uh, right click anywhere in the redrum interface or control click if you're on a Mac and go to copy pattern and then uh, select bank A2, right click again, and choose paste pattern, and do that this for the same for uh, A3, right click and go paste pattern, and now we should have banks A1, 2, and 3 with identical beats. So now let's go back to bank A2, and let's add that open hi-hat sound, so click on channel 9, and let's put that on step 15, and let's hear how that sounds. Okay, sounds a little sloppy, but we could choose this radio box here called channel eight and nine exclusive. Check that and hit run again. Sounds much tighter. Now we know why we use ch uh, channels eight and nine for our open and close hi-hats. So um, let's now choose uh, bank A3 and uh, let's change it up a little bit. So let's go back to channel eight and let's add another hi-hat here and let's go to channel two 
and change those snare hits to steps 10 and 13. So we'll take off five and put it on 10. And let's go to channel one and let's leave the base steps for one and seven, but let's add some medium hit steps for, um, I'm sorry, let's add some soft steps for 10 and 16 and let's sample that. It sounds a little different, sounds a little more funky. Um, again, those, those soft uh, steps tend to make it sound less mechanic. Um, so let's also add another sound. So let's select uh, channel three and let's browse uh, sample on channel three. Let's go back to exclusive drum sorted, percussion high, and let's just get a cowbell in there. And let's put that cowbell on steps one, five, nine and 13 and let's hear how that sounds okay let's put uh if we just change that knob it's the velocity knob or the gate knob uh it kind of compresses it and brings it out a little bit also let's lower the velocity which will also bring out the sound a little bit there we go and Let's do one more thing. Let's create a digital reverb. So let's go on top to create. Let's add a RV7 digital reverb. Should put it right below the redrum. Um, and let's hit the tab key. And you see in the back, uh, redrum send one and two are both connected to the mixer. So what we want to do is move the send out two to the right output of the RV7. So I'm just going to left click here and move it down to the right output output down there on the RV7 and I'm going to hit the tab key again and now we've configured our send to the S2 button knob here to control our reverb so let's just test it out let's turn that all the way up on the snare drum and let's hit run you can hear how uh, how that affects the snare sound put it all the way up so we're gonna next lesson we're gonna be adjusting some of these knobs uh, as well as doing some of the bass work. Uh, sorry, we didn't get to that this lesson. And that's it. So save your work and we'll see you next lesson.